We're really playing with fire here. We know that there's large amounts of circulation around the world. We know that there are differences by country of what variant is circulating where. The challenge that we have right now is our ability to track is based on data that is available from around the world. That data comes from surveillance activities, cases being identified, testing taking place, and a subset of those tests being sequenced. The number of sequences that have been shared that we can analyze has dropped precipitously. And we're looking at very, very few sequences right now. It is very helpful for scientists and public health professionals to be able to track which variants are circulating where so that we can work with partners around the world to assess what are they doing in terms of transmission, in terms of severity, what's the public health impact of the circulation of these sublineages, and do our countermeasures still work? Omicron is dominant worldwide. We've got mostly BA.2 being detected around the world. We see increasing numbers of BA.4 and BA.5. BA.2.12.1 is dominant in the US. We are worried about further evolution. This will not be the last variant that we will be discussing here. So we need to be able to track that and we need the systems in place. We need governments to maintain surveillance, enhance surveillance, make sure that sequencing is taking place so that experts from around the world can bring that data together and discuss it comprehensively.